Now watch. Uh, he went into the temple with them. All the people saw him walking, praising God, and they knew that it was he which, was, which sat for alms at the beautiful gate of the temple. And they were filled with wonder and amazement at that which had happened unto him. Now watch this. And as the lame man which was healed held Peter and John, all the people ran together unto them in the porch that is called Solomon, greatly wondering. And when Peter saw it, oh, here's when it gets good. He answered unto the people, you men of Israel, why marvel ye at this? Or why look ye so earnestly on us? As the, isn't that funny? Well, he told the man, look on us. Then he turns around to them and goes, why are you looking at us? <laughs> right? He said, why do you look at us? Now watch. As though, he says, why, do you, why marvel ye at this? Or look ye so earnestly on us? As though by our own power or holiness... We had made this man to walk. What's he just said? He just said, why do you look at us as though, in our common ter terminology today, why do you look at me like I'm special? Why do you look at me like I'm anointed? Why are you looking at me like, I'm, like I got this or got that? He said, the, the power is not mine. It came out of me, but it did not originate with me. Why? Because we are conduits of God. The power originates with God and works through us. That's why he wants us to be like the body of Jesus so that we can let him flow through us. Now, notice what he says. Not by, as though by our own power or our own holiness. See, that's a big one. Why? What does that mean? I haven't, Peter was saying, I haven't lived holy enough to heal a lame man. I haven't been righteous. I just, a, you know, a few days back, I denied Christ. Now, think about that. He said, why do you look at us as though by our own power or our own holiness, we made this man to walk? Now watch, he even answers, he tells them. And I love this part because now, take, you know, go figure, it's Peter. He starts preaching and he points the finger at him. And he says, the God of Abraham and of Isaac and of Jacob, the God of our fathers has glorified his son Jesus, whom you delivered up, pointing his finger at him, right? And denied him in the presence of Pilate when he was determined to let him go. In other words, Pilate's not to blame, you are. He says... But you denied the Holy One and the just and desired a murderer to be granted unto him, unto you. Now watch. And killed the Prince of Life, whom God hath raised from the dead, whereof we are witnesses. Oh, here in verse 16, he gives us the secret. And his name, through faith in his name, has made this man strong, whom you see and know. Yea, the faith which is by him hath given him this perfect soundness in the presence of you all. So what was it that healed this man? Was it Peter's apostleship? Was it his holiness? No. He's, see, if you ask somebody how they did something, you got to believe they know how they did it. And Peter said, how do we do this? It was the name of Jesus and faith in that name. Is that it? 